Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nesha and we are once again here on Howling Held Islands and people are arriving to their new houses, they are enjoying uh, the warm human night of 27.8 degrees and already my emails are just piling up with from the, our citizens, they are very upset, uh, I can't believe it but uh, yes, uh, let me read one email, uh, dear Mr. Governor Sir uh, Sunesha, I've been here for two hours and I'm still un unemployed. This is unacceptable. If this is doesn't, if it, it is doesn't become better until morning, I will leave this island forever. P.S. You're super cool and awesome. Yes. Yeah. So let's fix this. <laughs> so the people can be happy. Yeah, so the thing is with the, the city skyline citizens, uh, they are very demanding and sometimes they don't understand demands. So they want a lot of, a um, lot of, um, industries here to get somewhere to work. But so if you pile up a lot of industries and fill this demand, completely this will just lead to the, the, the situations where there will not be not enough citizens to work inside uh, the um, work inside the industry so usually what i do i just uh, i just oh wait what's this uh, Usually what I do uh, is just start filling up a, a small area here so let's start with four uh, let's start with three here so then we can add after the month because you have to remember uh, these demands are not met instantly it takes some quite some while before we will see an effect on this demand so uh, it could be wise to be a little bit conservative i think we uh, will have time enough let's see here our body uh, let's get our citizen stuff here so we can see any electricity is the critical here because we need to meet, uh, meet the electricity demands otherwise the industries will not work but as you can see they are screaming for jobs but they uh, still are so i will just pile in some industries here we are still going um, back and forth here uh, so I, oh, my body is getting lower. You wonder how uh, it came to be night <laughs> inside my... Yes, I was making some scre uh, screenshots for my map on the Steam Workshop play page, so people will be tempted to uh, download it. And somehow in this save, it changed the time of day, but it didn't change anything else, and it shouldn't really matter. So, let's see here. So they are still screaming for jobs. There are uh, still nobody really working here. We haven't got any uh, trucks coming in here also. One of the uh, drawbacks of having dirt roads is that they're very slow. We can see our first donut. Uh, donut, I can recognize it. Uh, we can see he's arriving and uh, to uh, and delivering some stuff to the commercials here. So as soon as we get some industry up, uh, he, we will be able to use our own goods, which will be better for the environment. Yeah, I, f I decided to make this island green. Uh, green. Uh, so uh, yeah, just because I can, and I also playing with all the DLC, so I thought I'm gonna do things a little bit green. Uh, we can see the Alexa tree. People have started moving in, so we're starting to get some spikes in Alexa tree here. So let's. Uh, get the budget up. This is not the most expo expensive uh, expense we have, so I think we can go a little bit higher. For the moment, it, it looks like our water pipe is our uh, most expensive things here. So let's speed this up a bit here, so we can start. We can see the electricity is going there. So let's speed this process up a bit. So we'll see. Okay, everyone got the electricity. Uh, let's see about the zoning. Let's see here. I don't want to zone this area because that's as soon as I... Wow, that was weird color things. Uh, as soon as I get money, I will... I will... Let me fix that. Yes, I guess that was the culprit in that. Okay, so as soon as I get money here, um, I will... Um, 
make, make a road so that makes a park here. Let's fix this here. I don't like that. Let's make all the houses free deep. Let's have the game going in the background. Hopefully I'm not too distracted so I missed something critical here. Um, so there is some room between the houses. So let's make all these houses free, uh, free deep. So it looks a little bit nicer. Okay, cool. So we have got some more commercial demand. Let's meet it a little bit conservative here. Let's add two forts. And the bigger you the zone you zone, uh, the more effective the building is gonna be. So uh, um, a bigger zone is more effective, cost effective. But I've never cared about that because I kind of like uh, to have to be different sizes of things. So, yeah, but if you want to be as effective, the more a uh, four by four square lot is more effective than. Let's zone some more industry. We have electricity for us. Let's add four big ones. Still more. Yeah, so, so we said a little bit of roundabout uh, uh, thing here. So, as soon as we got more industry, uh, industry will do also demand more residents and then you will get a resident demand. So yeah, by zoning industry you will actually get resident uh, demand and it's uh, vice versa. So it goes around and commercial. So yeah, but it takes a little bit of time before uh, we meet these demands here. I think unless you just zone a lot more, but the thing with demand in the industry uh, they take a lot of electricity, so I don't want to run out of electricity because that we screw everything out uh, up. So it's better to be a little bit more conservative before uh, we let people be yeah, because, because no electricity and then everyone will leave the city. So it's better that they don't have a job for momentarily uh, than they don't have any electricity because you know. Uh, there is a priority hoarding or that, but it will take quite a while before they will leave because they don't have a job. But uh, okay, it's good. So as you can see now, finally stuff is arriving to our industry. There are three types of building inside the industries that do different things, and some of them need goods to be able to produce something that we can earn money from. So finally, we are leaving the black body at here, and we suddenly got the uh, getting money inside here. So that's good. Everything is running. And uh, we are at 231 population, so I think uh, very soon we'll, we'll hit a, a milestone. Let's check our next milestone. 360 here. Okay, that's awesome. Everything, everything is running smoothly. So let's speed things up a bit here. Let's zone more, some more commercial. Let's be, do a big one. Oh, we have a... A nice thing here. Let's keep that as a, a small decoration. So let's just make a free here. So we don't completely destroy that. And let's make some twos. And yeah, let's make free uh, one lots too. And two. Okay, that should be more than enough commercial for them. I always want a lot. Of, what I usually do, I actually left the demands. I never fill them completely because I think it's easier to play that way because then, it, then I just fill the one uh, they want the most and then I go in priority or it's not for now like industry and commercial is uh, thing. But yeah, I've sown everything here so uh, the city will keep growing in the background. But especially when you're beginning it, don't zone too much. Because I have a kind of experience how much I need to zone. So if you zone too much, you will run out of resources and uh, that will screw up your game. So 360, we are fastly climbing here. So we, I think we will be hitting this soon. Well, like those ones, ones, let, let's take a look at that. People also see these uh, small ones uh, very often because everyone is making the most biggest building they can. But look, they are kind of cool to have some small shops too between yeah, like a hot dog stand or something. Okay, so we are actually earning money. We are uh, left the black completely here. Awesome.
Okay, I'm gonna let the game run for a couple of minutes just uh, to get the demands up here. I think we are uh, as soon uh, just waiting for that milestone so we will get an influx of bonus money which you get at every milestone. So uh, I will let it run until we hit the milestone. Let's see, zone some more. Uh, oh, it's 359. Let's just zone more, one more industry for a moment. Oh, we got here to tier. So we have the new features available to us. So we have taxes. We can even take loans. We have garbage and healthcare and education. We also have access to these new buildings that fulfill this demand, like landfill, garbage, education, and uh, healthcare. So what is the most important thing here? I think actually the most important thing for us now, let's make it white. Uh, let's make it white here. The most important, I do that for the night, toggle whiteness mod. Um, so the most important thing uh, which will create the most problem for us now, people can live without healthcare as, as long as they are healthy. And uh, people can live without education as long as, yeah, so um, we, the most important thing is to get the garbage out because if they, we don't get the garbage out, they will become sick and upset. So we will first of all build garbage uh, here. So let's see where we want to place it. I think I want to place it around here. So let's see. And Smack it down here. Let's give it some room to go out. Let's see, elixir tree. So, now we have some extra money to play with and I will actually create a small area here for one by one houses. A kind of area where Tony Sopranos and his garbage men can live around here, and uh, then they uh, they can live around here in smaller houses, so it will be a little bit more interesting. So let's get rid of all of the snapping things because we are doing precision work here. We we don't want to have snapping things. So let's create. Let's see here. Nice. Let's go there. Cool, so let's go into movement mode and make some room for houses. So let's see here if we get some houses to pop. Awesome, so we have some houses here, uh, one one by one lots, so that will be our Tony Soprano, where all the garbage truck drivers live and so on. I think we need to give some Tony Soprano a uh, house here, the only big house in the area, so let's give him, he's living better than his peers here, so uh, let's make that by four by four. Uh, so he can overlook his workers here. Uh, so uh, I just like to mix it up a bit. I think I will redesign on the industry area too because it's kind of unimagined. I just thought about it. We are after all watching a YouTube series. So we want to look at a little bit more interesting 
traffic so while by, by working in the one by one lot I never made Octotom area before uh, for the traffic so I think I will create uh, just that so uh, we can uh, have all our industry in Octoton. That, that will be super cool. So we will actually pave down everything here because we don't want a square run here. Let's see, let's go. We will start. So yeah, we, we will probably move this around a bit. It's a shame that it is night time. Let's make the game run a bit here. So. Let's see here. Octaton, I told you. So, yeah, that, that's a, almost a circular square. Yeah, that's cool. I think I want uh, all my snapping here. So, how, how big do we want it to make it? That's the question. Uh, so, um, 16? 16 sounds good. Let's see how, how, how that ends up. So, let me uh, go this first. So, at least 45 degrees and 16. Okay, cool. So we have an octaton here. <laughs> that took quite a while to do. Let's see if we can find a middle deer. So let's go over deer, night degree deer. Uh, that's the middle deer. Let's find, follow this one. Let's make a small roundabout in the middle. Um, so let's get one way road. I don't know how many units. Let's start with this. Let's, let's make a really small one. So if we go one, two, three. Let's do anarchy here. Uh, what's that straight? Is it light outside now? Yes, thank you. I okay, can finally see. So let's get rid of toggle whiteness here. Let's see. One, two, three units. It's over here. Completely. It's all. Let's do this without road guidelines. took me like forever and what screwed me up was the snapping to the road line it snapped it didn't uh, did it in on completely 90 degrees which screwed up uh, the roundness uh, about uh, <laughs> about the roundabouts <laughs> yes <laughs> oh man that was awfully hard so yeah road yeah so now we can finally uh, continue here so yeah we are done with that so let's go uh, from the middle, from here, let's try to snap it to here. Oh, it's so hard to snap to right, correct? <laughs> so, the, oh, I almost got it! I almost got it! I almost got it! Oh man, it's around here. Thank you!
Okay, cool. Uh, so we are done with that. Let's remove it. Let's watch the Let's remove that part. Let's see how the grid works now. Uh, let's add a couple of lines there. There. So when you use the arrows key with the help of mod it, you kind of have to uh, make uh, your camera is completely straight, otherwise it will not go straight out. So now we have a very interesting uh, part here. I think, however, we want to move it up a bit. Uh, so uh, let's move it up here. Let's remove uh, these. We will use some industry in, in this exercise, but I don't really care. They have to repopulate and start new factories because the governor wants it to look nice and tidy. So I don't like you. Okay, cool. So now we have that. So let's move the whole thing up. Uh, let's see, so it in three it props, yes. Just move it up. A bit like that, I think. That would be nice. Oh, oh I got the new idea what to do about uh, the in here. So let's make, uh, let's make it like Eight units like that. I think that will keep the straight 45 degrees. Oh man, I I I was a good student in school. I remember all my math and geometry here, so that's cool. So <laughs> let's keep adding the what was this eight? Because I use 16, so if I use eight, it should lead to a completely 45 degrees angle here. So let's see which way. We want to go like that. Let's remove anarchy. Like that. We'll upgrade the road in the, at the latest date. But well, now we have very good connections. Let's um, just let us uh, hook this up to a very slow road. We have probably destroyed all our <laughs> power lines here, so we have to fix them. Oh, I think it's. Uh, I'm very amused at the moment of, of, of all the things here. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's, uh, let's keep the curve here. I don't like that beyond the to move it, fix it. Thank you. you can come straight in there and then you can uh, you, guys arrive will take a ride and guys leaving will take that part there. So that is interesting when it's done, it's gonna be a square, but not a typical normal square what we are used to. So that was fun. Uh, so let's just zone this area here. Um, I managed to keep some of the industry here. They are probably very confused. They just uh, suddenly uh, the whole area is... Uh, suddenly the whole area, let's see. And then I think I want to use my last money on um, uh, extra wind power here because power is more important. So now we have, would have everything here. I think I want to go get going with some. Uh, so this will be higher. So I will try to get. Uh, let's put it there. Over there. Okay, cool. So now we have some more power. So let's unpause the game and see. Uh, well, oh, all the elixirs. So let's fix that. We we'll probably not like their situation right now. Do they have? Uh, what? What are you doing there? Bye. And uh, let's get you some. Let's hook you, up, guys, up with some power. Let's see, so they have water pipes too, uh, so we have changed everything, yes. 
they are water pipes. So the, this is a little bit more interesting <laughs> thing here because they can run in here, a small roundabout here and they can go there. So it's kind of spreading out uh, the traffic to different lines in different areas. So uh, that will probably handle the traffic excellently. I'm very happy about that. And I'm really waiting for my Tony Soprano area here. It also looks a little bit more interesting to have area here. I think I want to change this part. It's a little bit too round for my taste. Let's make it a little bit steeper. Yeah, that's interesting. The keeps going. This will be a beautiful park as soon as we get to here. So let's see. Uh, they driving around here. Let's end the episode with that. So, I really want my Tony Soprano area to wake, uh, get up there, but yeah. Okay, so what's our, let's see our demands. They will still want a lot of more factories. Let's paint in some more factories here. Uh, like that. And uh, some more commercial, maybe. We can get, we can have commercials here too, maybe. Yeah, let's do that. I like that idea, so let's paint this in. Let's paint this. We will have just ones here, so uh, a row with one uh, here, so we don't. So. The only thing, if you do a lot of ones and two, uh, every truck has to stop at these places, so I just. If I made those 4x4, four four, so now they have like 20 places, new stops, uh, places to stop on. So it will uh, result more traffic actually, but they will not get as much deliveries too. But yeah, everything uh, like garbage and stock truck and stuff, I have to stop everywhere there. Okay, and someone has parked there. That's good. So how much money do we need to uh, get... I think at the elementary, because that will level up the houses. When the houses level up, they are able... Oh, let's, let's just get it slow here. I, I want to follow that truck. Let's get a little bit slow. Let's see. Our Octacon uh, industry area. It's an uh, interesting slu traffic solution here. You can make a small right here. And uh, you can go inside here. I think it's a quite cool uh, traffic solution here. He's unloading uh, all the stuff to the ice cube factory here. Oh, he's smacked right into that round tank thing. Luckily, it uh, didn't catch fire because we don't have a fire department yet. That would be weird. So, and then I can leave and then you have to take it right here. He wants to leave. We will probably have to restrict the traffic a bit here. I think we need a connection here. Sometimes it's good. It's just good to, uh, it's just good to uh, follow them around because you kind of see things. So let's hook this up here. The garbage trucks go right out here. So I think hooking right straight up to them will be a stupid idea. Yeah, why not? And they still want more industry. How is our electricity? Is our new wind power has already uh, been used up all the electricity here with all the new industry. I think it looks kind of cool. Uh, like this. We have this octagon. I'm really proud. I will try to do a little bit crazy stuff just, just to uh, make it more interesting so you don't just see me do squares and grids and stuff. Because, yeah, that gets boring very soon. Yes, I thought about removing uh, this one. I could make it a little bit more creative here. So, let's for a future park. Let's hook a road from here. Let's try to get a nice shape. Uh, like, follow it here. So, if I round it, if I bend it a bit. I liked it sliding up here in the roundabout here in the middle. Uh, we will uh, upgrade this to a two-lane highway later so they don't park in the middle of the roundabout. They are not very confident in the traffic rules here, but yeah. 
the roads are very slow, so I think one of our investments should be to upgrade them to... Let's see if we can afford... Is 10,000. Let's speed this up. Okay, so we, we, let's end the episode here. So we uh, got a new square. It doesn't matter. I have a model where I can buy a square whenever I want to. Uh, we can buy a second loan, but what we have more here. So let's start our next episode. Uh, by that, we have access to police and firehouses now. So that could be a good thing. After all, our truck is hitting very gas tanks here. He just hit that thing there. That, that was really <laughs> difficult. Okay, so that was everything for this episode, and as always, thank you for watching.